Okay. okay. Yeah, you don't get it. No. Okay. No, no it's. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it, did you? Yeah. Guys, leave the toilet seats up. So, so, um, so, go. Oh, there's confusion. The seats there's up, confusion. the seats down. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so who's the one that said you had a ghost living in their house? Is that? Well, both of them. Yeah, we, uh, certainly Stacy and I both do. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I have them, I'm not sensitive to, to them. Which is an interesting, it's an interesting thing to say, isn't it? A ghost living in your house. I mean, we say that. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's, oh, yeah, if it's really appropriate, but. Ghost living, We yeah. always say ghosts, that we, that's fr frequently what we say. I and say you, that all And you time. say you've seen them? You've seen yes. them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Because I remember I, I, I used to. I stayed in a house and uh, well, as of when I was a, when I was a, when I was a lot younger, I had stayed in a place in Nova Scotia. It was my grandmother's summer home, and I stayed wow. for a whole summer there. And I actually did see a ghost there that I believe I did see. You know, so, and a lot of people think that's kind of kooky, but that's you know, it's a very real thing. You know, it's such a yeah. thing. It's oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like I wonder, you know, they're trying to tell you something, or they just what what's the deal there? You know, why why do they roam houses? What what's their What's their whole thing with just staying put in one house? Is something, something well, mine feel protective. Yeah, you know, I, I, it's a good question. I, I don't, I, I wish I knew the answer, but, but yeah, yeah. They, they do seem to do that. They, they sort of, I don't know, maybe it's where they're comfortable or something. It, it, but, but yeah, yeah, it's a good question. I, 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 I've asked that question myself. Um, I've, heard, I've heard things like they're discontent spirits that just haven't, you know, haven't, been able to cross over because they they left in circumstances or they left the world in certain circumstances that they just yeah. couldn't you know they weren't content and they just kind of condemned to Rome. I mean that sounds a little bit spooky, yeah. but I suppose it's a possibility. You know, yeah. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's the various reasons I, I, I you could assume, but I just you know I, you know I hear about ghosts. Yeah, and sometimes people will talk about place memory. You know where the, something happened in a particular location, oh. and there's sort of an echo of that 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 lingers. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. but generally, I mean, the 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 ghosts in your house at least seem to be um, on some level interactive. Yeah, th th they are. They um, certainly are. So that um, that wouldn't probably qualify for yours, but. Yeah. Well, what happened in my situation was just a very weird situation, and it was. A, and you know, and I was never, never afraid of the dark, and never wanted to be, never wanted to be, you know. If I, I didn't see things, you know, I didn't have hallucinations. It was nothing that could have been ruled off as a, but it's just somebody was a. I, I had been been staying there for a whole summer. I was like 13 at the time, and my, I had two brothers, and they were sleeping across from me and on a cot. They slept together. They were the twin brothers, and and I would sleep in my own cot in the middle of the night. I noticed the light flickered because it was a little heat lightning, and I look across, and one of them got up in the, one of them got up from the bed and just kind of broke, it was like almost robotic, slid over to the side of the bed and put his feet on the floor, and then I could see across the room because I could see the image of one of them, and because they looked so much alike, I called out and I said, Kevin, I said, Kevin, who's this? where are you going? Because they got up and started walking towards the kitchen. One of them, I wasn't part of because it was dark and I couldn't quite make it out, so no response. And then I so I started asking. The other name, John, where are you going? Well, no, no answer, right? So the next thing I know, it's all the way out into the kitchen, and I'm hearing rattling in the kitchen, and then I get, and then I get up, and I'm about to go out because I thought one of them was sleepwalking. And I look over the bed, and they're both still on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I mean, you know, to hand to God. I mean, yeah, I seen yeah. Everything, and, it was, and it was just a very, you know, very... Uh, scary thing there to happen, and uh, you know I didn't I didn't imagine it. There was an entity. There was one of them that got out from on the from on the bed that looked just like one of them, and and I heard rattling in the kitchen. Nobody to this day, everybody you know like they know me. I don't tell stories, you know. Yeah, yeah. They, and they look at me cross-eyed. It's like getting <laughs> somebody to believe that it's quite an adventure, you know. Yeah. It means yep. that there are such things as ghosts. Yeah. Well, well, Nova Scotia, notorious. This is where it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, sure. Okay. And then notorious for a ghost there. I mean, do you hear Well, there's a lot of history there. All the time. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful place to go to, you know, visit, uh, to be, you know, if you guys have ever been. I mean, it's just uh, very, you know, it's coastal. It's nice, it's, but it, they're just, man, wow, ghost stories just go way back there. <laughs> Out of their whole, their real folklore there with oh, yeah. ghosts, but they're, they're a real deal, you know. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, I don't mean to waste all your time telling me ghost stories. But no, yeah, thank you for calling and sharing the story. It was great. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, well, it's good to see you guys back on. I just don't know. I didn't see you. Uh, yeah. I had called on a couple, a couple other occasions. And yeah. yeah I, I, hadn't, uh, I don't know. You were, you were on last Wednesday? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. You were, huh? I must have been just missing you over this channel. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, we're going to remain on Wednesdays at 8 for the next few months. Yeah. Oh, okay. So please All join right, us. then. Well, you guys have a happy new year. You too. Thanks. You too. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. bye. Great call. Yeah. But, I mean, if, if your ghost is Native American, I mean, there are reasons that it might be protective. They didn't necessarily, I mean, they revered. Trans people. I know many they of did, them. and that's that's something that I'm I'm aware of, and that's that I've always often I've often thought, and and, and again, um, I have no way of knowing that this spirit is Native American. I just sort of have that sense, but um, but I am aware that um, that they did. They the the, the, the Cherokee had a god, of, and I forget the name of I think it was thunder and lightning, that had both genders. Right, the two spirits. Yeah, two-spirited people. Yeah, and so I think that uh, it, it sort of almost makes sense that um, that that this um, entity would be interested, at least, and possibly protective. And um, and I my sense is that my shadow figure is protective. There are other people. Again, most of the people that are aware of this that have seen this <laughs> have seen it as benign. Um, it's not inconsistent the people that were scared by it that it's protective of you. Yes, um, <laughs> it, it's interesting that only the, the only people that have been scared by by my shadow figure are people that didn't have my best interest in mind, right. probably. So, um, so I, it's sort of an interesting thing um, <laughs> that uh, that my shadow figure sort of went after them. Um, but I have not. Um, I have not. Uh, you know, been afraid of it. It's there mm. all the time, and um, and I, I go outside and stuff at night and work at night and things. And it's there. I'm aware of it, and it's fine. Um, Cause I also have owls. I have an owl that's a, I have a bunch of owls where I am, and I have one in particular that sort of adopted me. Um, well, the owl has been pretty important to you. And the owl is my the owl is in fact my Native American totem, which um, which is very interesting. And the owl represents, people think the owl represents, represents death, and in fact it doesn't. The owl represents, in Native American laws, my understanding is that the owl represents um, death and rebirth. A change, but, but change. specifically death and rebirth, sort of a, you know, the, the changing of, uh, you know, in my case, you know, sort of the death of the old me and the rebirth, mm -hmm. um, which I thought was kind of interesting. But, uh, but in fact, um, I was able to determine that my Native American totem is the owl, which is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> but I've, you know, I've got, um, I've got all this stuff going on at my house, which is, is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, and I did, we, you know, we kind of got talking about this, and, and of course I had a bunch of paranormal experiences when I was a child too, yeah. um, you know, a child and then as a teenager. But, um, but there was a time about two years ago. It was about two. About see? two years ago now, I think, where, um, where I did have um, an experience, and this was a sort of a, a um, transient thing, but, but it, you know, long, it was lasted long enough to scare me, but I did have something come into the house that was not my shadow figure. Right. It was not uh, either of my... Amorphous sister. presence. It was, um, it was something that was, yeah... Um, didn't see it, it was just did, felt. Didn't really see it, and I felt that the house went... And it, this was...